I'm a local GP, and so I also get a lot of feedback from people in that sort of way. One of the things that somebody said to me in my surgery last week, as her husband left saying, Anna, come and join the Labour Party now. She said, we women, we're behind you. We're in your part of respect. Um, she said it in Bengali. And I, I think one of the things that's been interesting working with Lutfa is it's largely been women who've been leading the casework. They've been coming to see us in the halls with their family papers. And I think that we are really now on the threshold of involving a whole lot of people in politics locally who have not previously been involved in politics. And I don't know whether others of you are finding that in other parts of the country. But one of, I'm afraid I think this term pocket membership is something we must confirm in respect, actually, because it's not one I've heard before, but it's used very widely by the um, people in the Bangladeshi part of Tower Hamlet's respect for all these prepaid memberships by one person. Now, to move beyond pocket membership, which I think is an excellent term, I think we've got to lower the, the actual payout of subscription. We find it's very difficult to get these women to join if we ask them for 10 or 26 pounds a month, a, month, uh, a year, all up, up front. We need to be saying to people, pay two pounds now, or two pounds fifty or whatever it is, and we'll be back in three months' time. I oppose the part of the resolution that says that members should have to, um, uh, the members should have to attend two meetings, because for many of us it's impossible to attend meetings. It's often impossible for me because I'm in surgery that late. Um, but I do think that going and collecting membership for subscriptions from people is a very good way of keeping people involved. And so this isn't a resolution issue. It can be done administratively. But we need to recognize that many of our, our supporters are poor, that they can't afford much, that they want to contribute time and what little money they can, and that by building relationships, we build strength. So I think that is extremely important. And the one other point I wanted to make from the shop floor, as it were, of the councillor work is that not only is defend council housing important, and that's been something people across respect have been building nationally and locally, and we won victories, but actually the condition of the council housing in Tower Hamlets, and I'm sure in the rest of the country, is very shitty. And you get, literally so, damp pouring down walls, people coming to our surgeries with five children of mixed gender up to the age of 16, all in one bedroom and wet all over the place, this sort of thing, at the same time as you have Canary Wharf and billionaires at the end of the road. And I think <laughs> that, that we need to build the politics, and I think Michael Lavalas has done this in Preston, but we need to build the politics from the casework as well. So we need to be running immigration campaigns. We need to be running campaigns locally and nationally for the improvement of council housing. And as a doctor, of course, I'm involved in Keep Our NHS Public, where we took 60 people on the national demonstration the other week. And we need to build those campaigns as well. Thank you.